from the back row, from the back row, and you will be to know we are watching Richmond, Virginia. She is the submission sniper, Jordan Blay. And the Gummy Bear Kid, Erica Lee. Erica Lee looks ready for the fight of her life. Well, that's good because she's going to be in the fight of her life in just a minute. No doubt. Erica Lee looking to complete the... Uh, the second leg of the triple crown here, I guess you could say, with the, the tag team Give tournament coming up in September. But this could be Erica Lee's first Super 8 championship here today if she finds a way to win. She came so close to victory in the men's Super 8. She's got to pull it off today. Erica Lee also having Jordan Blade well scouted, well prepared for the chain wrestling chops. Jordan takes her over. I'm sure Erica Lee prepared for some chain wrestling that's going to be involved, but you wonder to the extent that she can keep pace with Jordan Blade in this kind of an environment. It's certainly a different type of endur endurance than you would have running around the ring, you know? Yeah. Holding her own so far. Trading off with Jordan. Vicious headlock takeover. She clamps the arm between the legs. And again, Jordan Blade, so vicious, so methodical in dissecting her opponent's limbs, already going to work on that elbow joint. You know what else I'm noticing about Jordan Blade? Every move that she does, every stretch hold, every every submission, uh, she's always on top. So there's always that potential for pinfall if it's you dominant line up as position, well. right? It's, uh, yeah. You got to figure if you're underneath somebody, you're on the defensive. Erica Lee back to her feet. Sneaks out the back of the headlock. Jordan Blade takes her to the ropes, uses the momentum to send her off. Catches her in a scoop. Erica Lee, beautiful head scissor takedown. Lee going to try and keep that momentum going right now. And she's done that as well as anybody over the last six months. Coming in hard with the strikes. Huge corner clothesline. Impact similar to that of JBL. Just using her size to her advantage. Misses the big boot. Jordan Blade ducks, but huge back spinning kick takes Jordan Blade down to the canvas as Erica goes in for the pinfall. Blade's head snap back there. You wonder if there's not going to be lingering effects from that. Yeah, let's just say a kick to the face is not an enjoyable experience. I always say no if anybody asks me ahead of time. Oh, you get offered that? Well, from time to time, I've gotten. I guess you'd call it an offer. Oh, resonating through this entire arena right now. Jordan Blade's not done yet either. Lighten Erica up, corner to corner. Jordan Blade does not seem happy that Erica Lee came out guns a-blazing and is intent on making her pay for it. Lee, firing back. Erica Lee just decimating opponents left and right with that big boot this evening. Two. Securing the arm, but not enough. This can, sorry, uh, Lee, this can be Lee's opportunity right here. If she can keep that uh, really quick momentum going, she'll keep Jordan Blade. Uh, you know, from being able to get into her game plan. You cannot afford your opponent the time to recover. You have to stay on top of a huge spine buster. Erica Lee just absolutely rattled from the impact, but she still finds a way to kick out. 
definitely a momentum shift occurring in this match as Jordan Blade seeks to reassert her dominance. Back to that already damaged shoulder. Erica Lee entered the match already at a slight disadvantage due to that brutal assault from Mother Endless following the conclusion of the second round. Erica Lee may have broken her arm there. We need to check and make sure that shoulder's still in place. Oh no. Not again. And again, working her way down the limb, starting with the shoulder, moving to the elbow, and taking off each finger. Jordan Blade has her right where she wants her right now. Corner. Let's go. One, two, three. Erica Lee looking to shift the tide with a huge lariat out of the corner, knocking Jordan Blade off her feet. Both women oh. face down on the canvas. Lee right back to her feet. Feeling the crowd right now. I don't know if she got it all, but she definitely got some of it there. Well, you got to go for the pin. Again, pinning is a very exhausting thing to kick out of repetitively. It's, well, you know what? It's also exhausting to try and hold somebody down for three. Absolutely. The more leverage, the more of your body weight you can use to help secure a pin is always the way to go. This crowd is on pins and needles right now. Yes. Right? I can't remember a time when the crowd was this quiet for a Super 8 final. It's because they're watching. That's they're so invested in what each of these women are doing, and they want to see what happens next. Yeah, it's like a Japanese audience. Like, they are just zoned in. It is. They're just, they're very engaged in the best way. Oh, my gosh. Just brutal forearm after forearm. Neither woman backing down. And Erica Lee... Lighting her up with strike after strike, not enough. Ooh. Ooh. Knee to the face. Lee is just being brutalized. Gets the shoulder up, and Jordan Blade expresses some frustration here. You got to keep a cool head. Yeah, see, Kai, it's one thing to lose to Darius Carter. You know, like that's one thing because he's athletic, he's fast, he's just an amazing athlete. This is a, a brutal encounter. Like this, this takes years off your career. Yeah, Jordan is an amazing athlete in a completely different way than Darius. You can't, no two challenges are exactly the same. Catches her with the boot. Erica Lee, maybe sizing her up for this. Another boot. Jordan just limp in the corner. Moves out of the way with a quick roll. Very light on her feet. Scouts Erica picks her up. Huge body slam. Dropped it right on her head there. Blade cover too. Hooks the leg. Not enough to keep Erica down. I think the world is watching right now. What is Jordan setting her up for? Erica rolls her through, quick pin. And Jordan with the kick to the face. Erica Lee certainly or unorthodox, and we've seen it so many times, but right now just Jordan Blade is just powering through that. Oh my gosh, she knocked the ref out. Erica's down. down. Finnegan. Gets her hooks in. Lee double under Huge kind of face like a, buster. Yeah. Shades of a pedigree kind of there. That was... And Erica Lee, despite having the upward momentum, at a little bit of a loss with the referee down and out for the count. She has got to up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. Here comes Killian McMurphy. They didn't throw him out. What's he doing in here? Well, I, I guess he was registered with the building since he was in the tournament. Somebody needs to. I'm here to help you. Jordan is having none of his interference. Both these ladies standing up for their tournament. Killian McMurphy right now, I... I Erica Lee, eyes to kill. Huge crossbody diving off the top rope. Off the apron. She right just at, came out of nowhere. Right at the feet of the crowd. And Erica Lee, the only one standing right now. 
throwing Jordan back into the ring to get back to business. We cannot let Killian distract from the mission today, which is to win the tournament. Killian McMurphy is still laid out. Eric Lee underneath does a spear. Huge spear. One, two, three. Yeah, nobody there four. to register the count, unfortunately. Oh, man. She has got to find a way to get the ref back to his feet. Dave Keener could have counted to three by now. <laughs> Just a little tap on the head. Anybody in there? Well, watch out, Erica. Jordan with a quick roll up. Blade. Two. Erica kicks out. Very, very smart and resourceful of Jordan to capitalize. Eric Lee go. off the ropes. Huge spear. Again. Takes her down. The referee's here for the count. That's going to do it. Erica Lee. Spears Jordan Blade in half to emerge victorious in the Women's Super 8 tournament. She has done it. She has overcome the beatdown from Mother Endless, the interference.